It was a cold, wintry, benevolent evening. Well, this is it, fellas. Are we up to the task of spreading Christmas cheer with rock and roll tonight? And how, Pete. You know one of my Christmas wishes was to one day play in a rock band. Rock band? Sewell ought to be a lounge act. Who ever heard of a lounge act in the North Pole? No time for debates, boys. We need to rehearse for tonight's Christmas Jubilee, dig? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, let's, do sure. let's do it. Let's do it. Now, from the top. A one and a two and a one. Help! Help! What seems to be the problem, old man? Settle down, old man. Yeah, get out of here, old man. <clears throat> uh, please forgive my colleagues, good sir. What they mean to say is, how can we be of assistance? Krampus is on the loose. He's terrorizing villages. He's frightening the elderly. He's birching the children. Birching? Who's Krampus? Krampus is all that is vile and unearthly. The heartless demon means to exterminate the Yuletide season and Santa along with it, leaving a dystopian nightmare in his evil wake. Sorry, old man, but you're climbing up the wrong tree here. See, we're nothing but musicians. I'm Neil, and these are my bandmates, John, Kevin, and Pete of the rock band Sewell. Lounge band. Shut up. I think what my associates are trying to say is that we're merely minstrels and not at all interested in Santa's doings. Once again, please forgive my colleagues, good sir. We would be, um, how does one say, pleased as punch to help save the children from the evil clutches of this Krampus. That is, if we could find him. So, tell me, <clears throat> where do we find this flagitious foe? The one they call Father Christmas is the only being known to possess the secret knowledge of the Krampus and his precise whereabouts. Does he mean Santa? Of course I mean Santa, you half-wit! They've got a bad feeling about this. What have we here? We're the rock band Sewell. Wow, Jack. Shut up. What my friends are trying to say, Santa, is that we're here to help defeat the evil Krampus before he defeats you. Here to help? I don't quite understand. We've been enlisted by the old man to eradicate Krampus and restore the season to its true purpose. That's very kind of you young folk, but I'm afraid you're too late. Krampus has already destroyed Christmas for many children. Besides, Krampus will crush a mortal lounge act such as Sewell. Oh, looky here, Saint Nick. We didn't come all this way to be treated like a bunch of floundering fools. Tell us where Krampus is, or else... Or else what? Surely a band of musical gutter snipes can seek alternative methods of philanthropy? Let us be the judge of that, Mr. Kringle. You tell us where to find this Krampus, and we'll bring you his head. Well, okay, but let it not be said that jolly old St. Nicholas did not warn the Sewell of their impending doom. Krampus is about to terrorize the town of Oberstdorf. To, to Oberstdorf! Oberstdorf. There he is! Get him! So, you think you can stop Krampus? Well, yes. No. Maybe. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, sure. Okay. Probably. Yeah. No mortal can banish the evil that dwells in the heart of man. However, if ye mortal minstrels be willing to join me in my painful purpose, I shall spare your precarious, petty lives. Not gonna happen, Krampus. In the name of Christmas, Father Yule, and the children of Oberstdorf, Sewell condemns thee back to the darkness from whence you came. Then you shall die! Lost their value and their appeal, so the truth was all that remained. Hustle and a bustle, Sue's big muscle finally answered the call. Hearts grew stronger, Santa appeared, mighty touched at the sight of it all. Grab the shadows, each and every one. The Christmas spirit freaks him out. Keeps him on the run Hiding in your present Looking rather pleasant Eating the mistletoe Bit off the head of the gingerbread man Just to prove it was made out of dough The Santa's elves keep working along As the reindeer fly through the snow Santa! Yes, it is I. You might as well finish me off here and now. Why, Santa? Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah what, what's what going on, Santa? What, 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 what gives? Well, sir, old Santa has finally outlived his welcome. The children have lost faith and are more interested in their gadgetry than the spirit of giving. I'm afraid their appreciation of yours truly has diminished logarithmically over time. Say it isn't so, Santa. Say it ain't so. It can't be true. Girls and boys the world over await the arrival of St. Nick with excitement unbound. Yeah, Santa. Surely even the most spoiled of children aren't incorrigible by the spirit of the Yuletide Carol. I too thought as you, that the tides of the winter solstice would wash away the wickedness of man, allowing him to renew his tidings of good cheer. But then I read this. Dear Santa, I hate you. I asked for a Chinese finger trap, and I got a magic handkerchief instead. Therefore, I am writing to tell you that I no longer hold Christmas dear to my heart. Sincerely, Little Timmy Franklin. P.S. This year, don't forget to bring me a Black Lotus card for my blue counter control deck. But that's just one kid out of two billion. Silly old claws. <laughs> What were you thinking, Santa? I just thought that when confronted with an evil nemesis such as Krampus, the children would embrace a renewed ownership of the Christmas virtue. You know, Santa, we have a confession of our own to make. Oh? Yeah, we're not really the obscure lounge rock band act Sewell. You're not? Fellas? <coughs> We're your chief officers, Saucy, Bunk, Natty, and T-Roll. My best men! What on earth? We suspected all along you were Krampus. So we disguised ourselves as Sewell to gather more intelligence on the matter. We love you, Santa. Oh, who could have guessed that the fools would fool the fool? <laughs> A wise man once said, He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose. The children of the world will sleep well this Christmas Eve knowing that Santa and his elves have put aside the chicanery and self-deception 
in favor of promoting the Yuletide virtues of benevolence, joy, and peace on earth. And should Krampus show up at your front door, I'd run away if I were you. <laughs> we're spicing the Christmas cake with cranberry ripple divine. And everyone dances the Christmas waltz for old Lang Syne. The light of the silver moon, she says, warms the When we see that mistletoe, we'll, we'll always, always think, think of you. The lights on the Christmas tree, oh yeah, and memories of old Lang Syne. Now that these meddling fools are out of the way, I can finally get to work. <laughs> Who's laughing now?